what we're going to do is we're going to kind of look at um, creating something. So did you happen to think of any creatures or NPCs that you wanted to create um, between when I surprised you with this yesterday and, and now? <laughs> well, funny enough, this is good, Craig. Yeah, my, my brother, who's on the show, if you guys check it out, David, has the most disgusting farts. And we have talked about personalizing them and making them an enemy in a game. So okay, <laughs> all right, that is one of the characters I'd like to do. Anything. All right, so let's look at creating um, fart enemies. Like, yeah, I haven't quite gotten the name yet. So here's the but question: so Is it enemies that do that that expel gas, or are right. they the gas that has been expelled? Um, let's start with. It's like a gaseous creature. Gaseous creature, okay. With like a personality to it and everything. Okay, and what level are we looking at? It's an excellent question. I'll bring this <laughs> but, up. Well, so. if I assume, so let's see. Because are you wanting your do, are you wanting your players to encounter this, or is this you're just creating in, you know, because of your brother? Uh, a little of both. I was okay. thinking it could be really funny to throw it in because, of course, everyone on the show is gonna realize what i'm doing okay so they are right now they're level two they just got two. to level two okay and we've got th their parties three to four sorry my son wants to say hello well of course do you want to say hello Torin? Yeah. yeah he's been a little sick today say hi hi Torin. <laughs> you can't hear me because your dad has the headphones but hello um, so we're probably looking at level two or level three because this is uh, you, you want this to be a generic NPC, not like a, a bigger, yeah. buffier thing. I was thinking it could be a funny random encounter. Yeah. To throw in. The the only difference between a level two and a level three is that a level three has slightly higher on hit points and defenses. Still a, a max attribute of five. Right. We could maybe do it if I maybe do slightly higher. So maybe there's only like one or four, two. Yeah. Four is when it bumps up to an attribute of six. For okay. the the simple NPCs. Yeah, let's try a three. Okay. And I'll just see how it looks. And two of them at them. Because again, I don't want. I'm thinking just a fun combat, something that will challenge them, but not be necessarily daunting. Let's see. Um, okay. Well, let's look up synonyms for fart. <laughs> and these are like it's heavy and weighted it, uh -huh. it stays in the air doesn't move fast what's up bud? <laughs> bottom burp <laughs> uh, is this wow really? <laughs> yes hold on hold on just a second yeah, that's that's one of the things that that came up. I mean, we, shoot a fairy? What? Really? <laughs> so, anyways, um, all right. So uh, we don't have to worry too much about a name for the creature right now, but we'll we'll do a ga gas gaseous elemental for now, right? Um, so I'm guessing you want to you know good. throw throw a few of these at them, right? Yeah. Two or three, maybe? Uh, I mean, it, it depends on how tough of an encounter, but since they're about right. their level, I'd say, you know, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, I could imagine you could probably throw four of these. What what you do yeah. is maybe start with, like, two, and then there's this loud sound. <laughs> you yeah. should have a fart sound pre-recorded or something, and you play it. Yeah. <laughs> and then two more come out of the rocks or whatever, depending on if they're still in the mine at that point. Um, right. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd say, you know, looking at throwing, uh, you know, four to five of them at the party. So with that in mind, I mean, of course, you don't have to do this, but I, I always I like, like personally, when I create encounters, I like there to be, if possible, an equal number um, of enemies as players mm -hmm. or one or two more than the players. Mm -hmm. um, because that way, action economy ends up being a little bit more balanced uh, in that regard. Right. And, you know, it may, I just like to do things that way, but you don't obviously have to do it that way. Right. 
Um, but yeah, so with that in mind, uh, it recommends a range of 14 to 26 for the hit points. Yeah, I'm thinking these things are easy to hit, but have a lot need to that you have to hit. Yeah, because because they're gaseous, you don't connect with as much of it. Right, and so it's you can rep- hits. So instead of representing that as you only deal half damage or things like you would do in D and D, you can just give these more HP because HP is actually a pretty big resource in Open Legend. It doesn't scale up to the double triple digits in Open right. Legend. Like, the highest that you can have as a player, I think, is 72, 74 HP. That sounds about right. Um, and as a starting like, first-level player, you can actually get as much as, as 50 or 52 HP. Right. So the, the variance from a level 1 to a level 10 isn't that great. For NPCs, uh, they do a little bit more, again, because um, hit points are not your health. Uh, they're like another defense, just like guard, toughness, and resolve. I consider HP a defense. And so the higher it is, the more that defense is because you got to whittle more of it away. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, Yeah, that's a really good way to look at it. So for it works well for big stuff like this, too. Right. Or like troll. I did a similar thing with the trolls in my game. Mm -hmm. High HP, low guard. You can hit them easy, but you got to hit them a lot. Takes a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So how much uh, are you thinking mid range on these guys or you want them a little bit more? What was it, 14? 14 to 26. 26? Yeah, so yeah. that would be around, around 20, 22. Yeah, let's do 22. Okay. I don't know why that that sounds nice to me. Yeah, and we're saying this is a level 3. Um, yep. They're probably medium-sized, I'm guessing. Yeah. Um, all right, so yeah, the, the lowest range on the defense is 12 is what it recommends, up to 18s. Uh, we already mentioned you want them to be easy to hit. I imagine they're tougher, though. So things right. that would target toughness because they're gas, we could probably put that at the higher end. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe do guard at, like, 13. Okay. Have resolve be the lowest because they're slightly mindless. Okay. And then toughness... I mean, do you have players that target much of toughness anyways? Not much. Okay. Ingrid could, but uh, they don't often. I mean, I'd say probably 16 or 18. Yeah. Yeah, let's do, let's do, let's go all the way. Let's go 18. Okay. So they'll be pretty tough, um, which is stuff like Entropy would target that a lot. There's, there's a few others that target toughness. And my thinking is because Entropy is one of the main that targets toughness and that's sometimes poison and acid can kind of be in that kind of realm. I mean, entropy decay, it makes sense that if they're fart clouds, yeah. they'd be very entropic. <laughs> so that's my thinking behind that as well. So, so these guys uh, kind of float around to move. Um, you don't technically have to give them flying speed to make that happen. That can just be the mm-hmm. flavor of their movement, right? Um, yeah. Do you imagine they move at full speed at 30? Do you think they're a little bit slower? Because of what they're based off of, I like slower, a little okay. bit slower moving. Are you thinking like half speed 15 or just 20? I'm thinking 20. Okay. Makes a little more, makes a little more sense. Basically, fart clouds is what I'm putting in the notes section for the, uh, nice. the NPC here. <laughs> um, all right. So attributes. We're looking at, uh, like I said, uh, attribute 5 for their primary. Yeah. Um, so you're thinking their main main stick is entropy? Yeah, probably. I'm because of the banes. I'm thinking of them using sickness and stunned. Right. Probably incapacitated as well. Now, does the uh, encounter builder for the NPCs and stuff does it have where you can easily click and see available banes and stuff, or do you have to do that on your own? No, you have to do that on your okay. own. Okay. Yeah. Um, so and that's fine. I've got that up over here. So. If we go entropy yeah. five, view available beings. I almost always have a character sheet from Hero Monsters up so I can just like enter it in real quick. Enter it in real quick. It's yeah. sometimes even faster than filtering the Bane section. Right. No, yeah, that's usually how I do. that's what I literally just did on the screen too. Is I went nice. over there, entered five entropy and clicked on the Banes. Yep. 
Um, yeah, so blinded, deafened, demoralized. Demoralized, I think, would definitely be something that fits for a fart cloud, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, maybe fatigued. Incapacitated absolutely makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Sickened makes sense. So there, yep. there's a couple couple good ones with that, for sure. Um, is there any other attributes you think it would use to do something against the players, basically? It can also right. do uh, life drain on itself, in theory. That's true. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's like drawing it out of you to yep. rebuild itself. <laughs> um, the only thing I mm, I was thinking like it would have a presence. Uh, entropy might cover everything I need there, anyways. I really think it will, um, unless you want it to be able to heal it, itself or its allies. Right, which I'm usually light on. And, I usually don't do that too much for yeah. for NPCs because it just makes the battle go longer. Uh, the only way that I usually do it is maybe through like life drain, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think entropy is good. Yeah. the The only other thing that you might want would be maybe some agility or something like that if you want them to be uh, able to move out of the way and stuff like that or perception you know to be able to spot things uh, in case things are hiding and th and and that sort of thing would be the only other considerations to make uh, for other attributes but for simple NPCs like this you don't have to worry too much about it like you could just pick one one thing and that's it you're good to go mm -hmm. so that'd be the only other thing is maybe perception because it might make right. sense for this creature because, you know, what they're looking for. And you don't have to, like, overthink it. Like, we could be like, right. all right, the wh what is their motivation? What what are they seeking for? You could, mm -hmm. like, go into that detail if you were, like, maybe trying to create a beast or area or something to pull mm -hmm. from. But if you're just planning it for a straight encounter, you don't have to worry too much about it. But I went ahead and gave it Perception 4 just in case it needs yeah. to see that or there's some <laughs> hidden characters or something like that. I like that idea of being with the life drain that it's like seeking out more gas, more to gas to pull from larger. Yeah. <laughs> so so the, the flavor of life drain is that when it reaches out and, and, and suffocates you some with this attack, um, you, you involuntarily uh, pass some gas and yeah. the substance grows <laughs> thicker, which is perfect. You know, it's like when you die, you defecate. So. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, so with this encounter, all right, so it's rolling 2d6 for its attribute dice. How much mm -hmm. advantage do you want its attacks to have? Right. This is something I'm still getting better at is learning the balance. Because mm -hmm. it has the 2d6, which is pretty big. Right. It means you keep more dice. Um, and, yeah. and that's what I've said in the past uh, a lot in the Open Legend Discord is the way that I balance encounters is you got to look at how much dice is kept. Because that's going to compound the effects of how much advantage you have, mm -hmm. right? Now, for me, as as Dan well knows, I tend to explode a lot when I roll dice in our games. So I actually go a lot yeah. lower on advantage in encounters than you probably normally would because <laughs> for some reason, my dice just go crazy i might i might start looking at using that optional role that trinity uses where uh npcs especially like minion npcs and stuff like that only explode once oh oh well, yeah but <laughs> it's only because you have to give yourself a handicap <laughs> I, I do so i i have to like i've in some of our battles i've suddenly cut down how much advantage i've been rolling because i uh. i just I don't know it's, why the dice like me so much when I'm GMing, but it's they do. Hilarious. They really do. <laughs> um, so yeah, for usually what I say is, of course, for a super easy encounter, you'd be looking at disadvantage. For mm -hmm. you know, still an easy encounter, no advantage, and uh, you know, not too hard would be like somewhere between one and two advantage. Mm -hmm. Right. For some reason, I'm feeling I think they should have like one advantage on their okay. entropy attacks. Some may probably attack specialization, or right? Something like that. Um, we'll just say entropy. Advantage one to entropy damaging attacks. 
Um, do you want uh, like a Bane focus for anything? Do you yeah. Think? You want him to be particularly good at... Sickened is pretty good at... Uh, because it lowers all their defenses. Right. Right. And it gives them disadvantage on all their action rolls. Yep. And I'm I'm the two nice champ, so I'm always like, well, is that is that too powerful? But let's see. I mean, that's I, what resist makes... banes are for, and everything else right, like that. Right. right. It, it makes so much sense with this character too. You know, it's like. Yeah, I definitely yeah, think. So I say bane focus for a second. You know what? And this would be mean, I guess, but <laughs> multi bane attack specialist. Oh. So they do sick, sick in. Now, technically, they wouldn't be able to do this, but since it's an NPC, we could probably push it to yeah. allow it. Because uh, when you're adding up the uh, the banes for the multi bane, they have the the total power level has to be at or below the attribute score. But I'm thinking if you combine sickened, um, I guess we could be nicer and do do a a, a lower one like maybe immobile um, or slowed. Right, mm -hmm. so sickened plus slowed or sickened plus immobile. Yeah, I like the idea of the slowed, or it... or sickened oh. plus silenced. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> right, because it's a that fart cloud, a right? Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So, I, like I mean, now technically, uh, for a character, they wouldn't be able to do that because that's total power level of seven that's needed. But since it's an NPC and it's for the flavor. You know, that's that's something we could do. But the caveat is uh, if they resist either, they resist both. Both, right. Is what I would do. That's not how it normally is. Right. But, but I, that makes sense. Give them a little higher bit. Yeah. Balance it out. Yeah. So that that's kind of the, the special you could do. So, yeah, we'll do. Um, and it's basically like you puke it out and you feel better. <laughs> yeah. You can breathe again. Um, so, yeah. Sickened plus silenced, but if you resist either, you resist both. Okay, so that's like a special thing about, which would pro I'd probably put under special um, anyways. i put that under feet list, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so favorite actions. Um, I guess I got to make it so it stops doing that. But anyways. Uh, favorite actions, of course, would be just a damaging attack. So, well, here's the other question. Because if we could give a few more feats to it. If you right. want to give uh, Bane Focus to both Sicken and Silence so that on 5 plus damage, it also inflicts right. that. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Because I think, Let's do it. I think that makes sense for thing. this. Yeah, this is its thing. And that's what I found makes it really easy building these creatures is just figuring out what's its thing. What's its special thing that it does. So it advantage really two if doing Bane attack. I'm just doing this all from memory. but um, Or five, pl five plus damage equals Bane. All right. So, yeah, and then the favorite action what do you want to call their their attack is it is it like a smothering attack yeah yeah definitely smothering because i figure they, they just surround it yeah because then they can attack and then on the next turn if it's still within there they're gonna just sicken and silence it so let's see smothering foul or foul embrace i like that foul embrace foul. wait which how do you spell that foul i'm thinking f-a-w-l but that's not the right one Oh, F O U F O U L L. Yep. Yeah. Foul. Foul embrace. So this is a uh, we'll just call it attack. Uh, it's melee. We'll put melee in there because it is melee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's entropy. Uh, verse. I think. I mean, you could argue that this would be toughness because they're kind of doing almost an area attack. So it's like a five foot cube that they're kind of making sure. their their presence so if you wanted to which would for a lot of pcs their toughness is usually lower than their guard right i i think that makes sense because i don't i don't imagine it swinging out with arms or anything it's just that cloud yeah so it's surrounding it's them. harder because guard is for things that you can 
dodge and move out of the way of whereas mm-hmm. toughness is your body is having to resist the effects mm-hmm. so um and i always like i i like throwing that in pepper in some minions that target resolve or toughness because not everybody thinks about it yeah that that'll make for some some interesting um descriptions in battle i'm sure (laughs) and with your group that could be that could be pretty interesting too (laughs) yeah um do you want to add in a bane specific attack where they do just the bane versus yeah i i think they also do the multi bane okay because i'm picturing that they attack invade the space and then on the next turn they'll go for the bane all right um, they don't no. have. I wouldn't say they have any weapons, unless you want to consider it un- unarmed. But then you'd be giving them another advantage besides attack specialization. Yeah. No, I think it's yeah. All right. So this will be. Um... This one I think should be called Drink Deep. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine them having like some kind of voice. It's whack. So this is. The other thing about this is this is advantage too. Oh yeah, I figure if you're stuck in it by the next round after the attack, it just does that in case yeah. in case it didn't do enough damage. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think we need any special actions or any weapons listed because it pretty much covers it. I mean, yeah, that's basically it, and and we we definitely like veered off course and talking about it uh pretty easy build there all right so this is my first time using this do i hit say okay i hit save oh do we want to name all right so right now we have gaseous elemental right but um i mean we could shoot a fairy i just what (laughs) i have never heard that in reference to wow i'm not even sure Source something as well. Gaseous stink. Reek. Gaseous, Gaseous reek. Stink. It's pretty good. I do love the word reek. It's underused. Gaseous reek. I think that could work. Yeah, I like that. And then they're they're just short short names. Reeks. Yeah, Dimitri can be like, no, I thought they were all gone. Not a reek. <laughs> It was like, what? What are you talking? Oh, ah. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to hit save. This... Get inside Brick's helmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. It looks pretty nice. Once you hit save, it, it makes it into that little, little box there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gaseous reek medium hit points. 22 speed, 20 entropy, five notes, basically fart clouds. Um, <laughs> probably should have changed that, but we can always edit it. Yeah, it's good, and that's that's another nice thing with the um, the encounters too. I really like it. I like that little form it makes, basically. Yeah, no, that looks nice. Um, yeah, we'll have to. So this makes it so that gaseous reek will always be available to me when I'm in the encounters, basically. Yes, if you have, you can uh, have a subscription with him, which allows it to be on a server, so you can access it from any computer. Right. If you have his free version, it's just local to the computer you're using. Okay, so it's and saving can... it to my computer, basically, and yeah. one of the files, cookies or whatever. Mm-hmm. 